In a world that glorifies possession and control, there's a counterintuitive philosophy that promises profound peace and liberation, the Stoic's art of letting go. While the world races forward, accumulating stresses and anxieties, ancient Stoic teachings offer a timeless remedy. If you've ever felt overwhelmed by the weight of expectations, attachments, and the relentless chase for more, dive into the Stoic wisdom that teaches the liberation of letting go. 1. Nature as a Guide Stoics often look to nature for wisdom. Everything in nature follows its cycle. Leaves fall, rivers flow, and stars shine. There's an acceptance and a rhythm in nature that can teach us about the beauty of letting go. 2. The Impermanence of All Things Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and a Roman emperor, wrote in his Meditations, all things are fleeting. Whether it's fame, wealth, relationships, or even our very lives, everything is temporary. By contemplating on the transitory nature of existence, we come to value the present moment and reduce our attachments to that which will inevitably change or fade away. 3. Embracing Amor Fati, Loving One's Fate. To truly master the art of letting go, one must embrace amor fati, or love of fate. Instead of resisting the flow of life or begrudging the turns it takes, the Stoic learns to love whatever happens. By doing so, the Stoic neither ruminates over past regrets nor anxiously awaits future possibilities, but gracefully accepts the present as it unfolds. 4. Understanding what's within our control. At the heart of Stoic philosophy lies the dichotomy of control. Epictetus, one of the towering figures of Stoicism, proclaimed, Some things are in our control and others not. Recognizing the difference between what we can and cannot control is foundational to the art of letting go. We can control our thoughts, our actions, and our responses. However, external events, other people's opinions, and the inexorable march of time are beyond our grip. By internalizing this understanding, we learn not to expend energy fruitlessly. 5. The Inner Citadel Each of us possesses an inner citadel, a fortress of the mind where we can retreat and find tranquility amidst the storms of life. Marcus Aurelius often spoke of this internal refuge, emphasizing that even when external events seem overwhelming, we have the capacity to maintain our inner peace. Letting go is a conscious return to this sanctuary reminding ourselves of our inherent resilience and strength. 6. Negative Visualization A technique often employed by Stoics involves envisioning the worst-case scenarios or the loss of things, people we cherish. This exercise isn't meant to be morbid, but rather to help us appreciate what we have now and prepare mentally for any potential losses. By occasionally reflecting on the impermanence of our possessions and relationships, we can cultivate a deeper sense of gratitude and a readiness to let go when the time comes. 7. The Role of Virtue For Stoics, virtue is the highest good. In the context of letting go, this means that what truly matters isn't what we possess or what happens to us, but how we conduct ourselves. Are we acting with wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance? If we prioritize virtue, external losses become less devastating and our attachment to external things diminishes. 8. Detached Involvement The Stoic ideal isn't to detach entirely from the world, but to engage with it from a place of equanimity. This means caring about things and people, being involved, and doing our best, but without becoming overly attached to specific outcomes. It's the balance of being deeply engaged with the world while understanding that everything has its season. 9. Reflection and Meditation Marcus Aurelius's Meditations is a testament to the power of daily reflection. By setting aside time to reflect, we can gain clarity on what truly matters, discern the transient nature of our worries, and reinforce our commitment to Stoic principles. 10. The Freedom in Indifference There's a profound freedom in cultivating indifference toward things that are beyond our control. This doesn't mean becoming cold or uncaring, but rather discerning where to invest our emotional and mental energy. Seneca elegantly captured this idea when he said, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. By not excessively caring about external validations or outcomes, we free ourselves from unnecessary turmoil. Life, with its inevitable ups and downs, will always test our resilience and commitment. 
However, the Stoic philosophy offers not just solace, but a transformative lens to see the world. By embracing the principles of letting go, we tap into an age-old wisdom that not only makes us more resilient to life's adversities, but also allows us to experience its beauty untethered. In the dance of existence, sometimes the most profound step is the one where we let go and allow life to lead. 